So I decided to go ahead and open it up and that's what I'm trying to trying to do figure out how to open it up. I've broke the seal around it so far. I think this was ultrasonically welded. I'm not sure at this point. But that's the thesis I'm working on. It's either that, it was got a lot of snaps and I'm not sure about that. I think it was uh, welded. Very good. <clears throat> so that's it. And let me bump you in. So yes, I can confirm that yeah, that is a mono plug. So if you have one of these, now you know. There's our standard radio tuner. And our loop of wire that runs around. And looking at the crevices in here, it was either glued or ultrasonically glued. And I'm going to say probably ultrasonically. So when I reassemble this, I'll have to put a couple of spots of glue on it. Well, I won't tear it up completely. But it's enough to see here that we've got... One, two, yeah, it appears all we got is just two coils of wire wrapping around that. Let me bump you in. So you can see right there, just two coils of wire and it's kind of thick gauge wire probably uh, I don't know 18 gauge or less so here you can see how they've got it wired up it's just a standard you know AM radio tuning cap so it wouldn't be very hard to make one of these if you wanted That's probably about 8 inch circumference. Wrap your wire around it twice. Tap if you need a tap. And there you go. Here's something that I, I thought was kind of interesting and unusual. Um, interesting for sure. I'm working on this radio here that you see on the bench. This is uh, the Kmart radio and this will be coming up really soon. I'm wrapping this radio up but I thought hey you know uh, while this is here and I've got everything turned on and hooked up let's uh, let's see what this uh, antenna does if it does anything. Let me bring your attention. I have I have the signal generator turned on to a 455 kilohertz frequency. I've got my function generator set to a 400, uh, kilo, uh, 400 hertz frequency 
and the signal generator is at a 1000 kilohertz frequency. Have my Tenma AC multi millivolt <laughs> millivolt meter. There we go. Um, turned on for a visual. I have this frequency counter for a output, and then I've got the uh, function gen uh, function the O scope hooked up, and I got it all plugged into the radio. And then I have the antenna air coupled. What I want to show you in all this madness is by turning this antenna, adjusting this antenna for peak performance on the radio, what happens to the scope but most importantly, well, actually, I guess this is more important than uh, the scope. I think this is the reason why <laughs> I'm doing this. So, yeah, the scope. There we go. Um, watch what happens to the frequency counter when I make this adjustment. And I'm pulling a 400 hertz frequency from the function generator. And to show that this is not a function generator issue or whatnot, I'll come up here, flick the switch to 1000 kilohertz, and we could see that on the frequency counter that that is indeed what we have. Now watch what happens when I adjust it. And by looking at the AC meter, we could definitely see that the antenna does make a difference on the gain as well as the uh, frequency. So that is very interesting. Not sure why the antenna is influencing the uh, the frequency like that. If by chance you have an uneducated or even an educated guess, let me know. Uh, that would be cool to uh, understand why it's influencing it. Influencing it. Yeah. Why it's changing it like that. Anyway. That's all I wanted to add on this. So I'm getting a reading of uh, dot 345 micro Henry's on the coil. So there you go. If you wanted to build one, that's what you're looking for is uh, roughly that. Anyway, that'll conclude this video now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.